The last Hercules has left RAF Lynham ahead of the base's closure. A formation of four planes took off from the airfield before flying across Wiltshire and heading for their new home at RAF Bryce Norton. Tim Cooper joined them on this historic and emotional day. It's been a long goodbye for RAF Lynham. The closure of the airbase was announced back in 2003, but today marked a very visible step towards the end game. This is the last time you'll see a Hercules taxiing here in preparation for takeoff. After 43 years stationed at Lynham, the last four are going. Truly the end of an era. Mixed feelings, really. Uh, a tinge of sadness because it's a farewell to the Hercules. But happiness inspires it does mark a new chapter in the, in the historic uh, uh, life of this aeroplane. The colours of the four squadrons that were based here are carefully loaded onto the aircraft. They, along with the squadrons they represent, will now fly out of RAF Bryars Norton in Oxfordshire. The four Hercs taxi down the runway. Their final mission from here, to say a proper goodbye. The day for us is about saying thank you to the people of Lynham, uh, to the people of Wiltshire and the surrounds for all the fantastic support they've given us over so many years. And you can't put a price on that. You, you really, uh, you know, you can't underestimate how valuable it is for the local community to support us. The quartet take to the air. In close formation, they begin their journey. We're flying over some truly amazing Wiltshire countryside and this trip is all about saying thank you to the people of Wiltshire for their support for all these years for the RAF Lynham. Uh, we've just been over Trowbridge, we're going to fly back over Lynham and Wooden Bassett which has offered so much support for the repatriations before leaving Wiltshire airspace for the last time and heading to RAF Bryce Norton. In the last few days, schools, offices, towns and villages have been phoning the base asking if the Hercules can pass over them so that they can say goodbye. After looping the north of the county, one last fly past over Lynham before heading over Wooden Bassett, the town that's shown its respect to the fallen through repatriation ceremonies. At last, it's wheels down at RAF Prize Norton in Oxfordshire, where the official handover takes place, before the standards themselves are welcomed to the officers' mess and the squadrons and their planes are confirmed in their new home. And it's a home that's been keen to make ready for them. Today is a culmination of years and years of uh, planning and, uh, and just recently packing and unpacking of boxes. Um, and I've been absolutely amazed and, uh, and also very proud of the individuals, the way they've come across and operated and maintaining our operational output all the time the move has been going on. For RAF Line and the future is unclear. It will continue to function until September in support of repatriation ceremonies. But after 71 years of service to the RAF, the end is drawing near, and soon no planes will fly here. There's some talk of the army being stationed here, or even a theme park. But Lynham's glory days as an aerodrome are gone. Tim Cooper, Forces News, RAF Bryce Norton.